Hey guys, what is up? It's Duncan, and today I'm here with a video that hopefully should help a lot of you guys out. Um, there is, as most of you will probably know, a Rickroll SSH worm that's going around. Um, basically what it's doing is these hackers are basically, they've created this worm and that's spreading from device to device. And what it's doing is it's going in through your SSH and uh, because most most people don't have their SSH password changed, it's just the standard Alpine. So it goes in and it's able to mess all kinds of stuff up. It put Rick Astley all over the place and make you in have pop up saying, "Hey, pay us two dollars, so we'll fix it," and 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 just kind of just junk like that. Which I mean, it's just ridiculous. So I'm going to show you guys today how to avoid it by simply just changing your SSH password, and that's it. You're protected. Because, I mean, if you don't change it, I mean, that's basically like, you know, going around with, like, you know, your your normal computer or whatever without having a password on it. Only that it's worse because, you know, this is an actual worm that gets in, whereas most viruses are actually harder to get in through your computer. So I'm going to show you guys how to change your SSH password. No big deal. And uh, should keep you guys protected. Anyway, let's get this one started. Okay guys, so now let's go ahead and just do this it's really simple, should take you just a minute. Okay, so you're going to need to download one program, it's called Mobile Terminal. Obviously if you have it, you can skip this step. But if you don't, just do it real easily. So go ahead and open up Cydia and hit the search. Okay, now you're going to need to search for Mobile Terminal. It's all one word, so let's go ahead and just uh, M-O, well you guys should know how to spell it, I'll have it in the description. Anyway, okay, so you put T, there you go. Okay, so you can see here, mobile terminal. Go ahead and open it up. Um, now, you guys know the drill, just install it. It's, you know, it's really small thing. It's just a few kilobytes or something, so it shouldn't take just a minute. So then, go ahead and install it, and come on out to your springboard. Now, go ahead and open it up. And uh, we're going to do just a couple of things. Um, now, terminal, as you, well, mobile terminal, as you might have guessed from the name, mobile terminal is basically just a terminal application. Uh, just like, you know, on your Windows PC or your Linux PC or, or your Mac or whatever. It's just really simple. Okay. So we're just going to do a couple of things, and you guys will be protected. Okay. So you're going to need to type in S U space root. So R O O T. Okay. Go ahead and hit return. Now, you're going to need to punch in your password. Um, now, obviously, this password should be Alpine. Um, if it's not, you've changed it before, and you really don't need, you know, you probably shouldn't be watching this because that's what, what we're doing. But So, go ahead and punch in Alpine. So, it's A-L-P-I-N-E. So, go ahead and hit return. Okay, now we're in. So, now we're going to change the password so that you guys will be protected. So you need to punch in P A S S, and then instead of W O R D, it's just W D. Okay, so it's just P A S S W D. Hit return. Now we're going to punch in a new password. So for the purposes of this, we're, I'm just going to punch in uh, iPod Touch. Just kind of something to remember. Now go ahead and return, and just type it in again. I will note that it does need to be at least five characters. So iPod touch and I will note guys that's not a recommended password because I wouldn't doubt if people are trying to hack that's that that'd be a good password to hack that's just I'm just showing you guys just an example um, so you know probably come up with something a little bit better that you can still remember okay so once you've done it you'll see the it back in shows root you're done it won't say confirm or anything it will just show what's on the screen so now all you have to do is just tap anywhere on the black and just click exit just go ahead and tell yes you do want to quit terminal and you guys you're done um, now your device is protected and you won't ha really have to worry about you know getting rickrolled or getting scammed or or something even worse um, so if you need to SSH still go ahead and continue watching the video but otherwise know that you're totally secure and you're ready to go anyway let's go on to the next step okay so this part is dead simple you guys probably would be able to figure it out on your own but I just show you guys just to make sure Okay, so just open up your SSH program of choice. In my case, it's WinSCP. And now you will still have your IP address. I just did take that out for the purposes of the video. Now you just need to come over. You just leave the root, uh, the username, I'm sorry, the username alone. But just come over to the password. Uh, exit out. 
and you punch in your new password, which in my case is iPod Touch. Okay, so just punch that in, and then go ahead and hit save. Okay, and I always say the password. You don't have to do that. But yeah, so there you go, guys. That is how to protect yourself against the Rickroll SSH worm. Um, now I'll say, guys, um, for right now it's been pretty tame. I mean, you can you can uh, undo the Rickroll and you know you can delete the stuff, but you don't want. I mean, you don't want that to happen in the first place. And it could be worse. They could be taking your sensitive information, um, all kinds of different stuff. So you you know, you guys, you really, I really be careful with this. I mean. I mean, it's really simple. Just change your password and you'll be good to go. Um, as you can see here, it's not like you can't SSH anymore. Just change your password and off you go. Anyway, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching.